Wadi Haket. Visiting a Wadi is one of the most must do things in Oman. It takes two hour drive from Muscat to Wadi. The place is surrounded by green day streets. It is located at Rustak. It is nice for pool diving and for swimming. They are thermally beautiful naturally places in Oman. We saw a lot of banana trees and date trees. We went to 3 or feet above there was still 15 or 14 feet left. The water was so deep and crystal. So we saw a lot of things happened under the water. There were a lot of spinach, pumpkin and sweet potato. When we went on next day, we saw the way that we stand on the 13, 4 and 3 feet, it became to 13 and 15. 13 and 15. So these are the things that I could find from Wadi Hoke. Thank you. Think, what is in Niswa, right? In Niswa, there's a place called Belisit. Belisit is a place that is covered with snow. Not only snow, and mountains, there are sheep, there are caves. It is so wonderful. Before going to Belisit, there's a place called the Alhota Cave. The Alhota Cave, there are some trains, some trains. We can book it, we can go. For tourists, it's wonderful. I hope they will love it. Now, let's get back to our belly seat. Belly seat is covered with snow. Snow is just like fog. It is covered with mountains, caves, tiny, tiny caves, sheep, white, black, brown, lots of color sheep, and lots of dry plants and green plants it is so wonderful over there i hope every tourist will visit that place thank you the national museum of oman is a must watch tourist place the oman is located in the heart of muscat opposite to the al alam palace the total area of the building is 13,700 square meter including 4,000 square meters for 14 permanent galleries each covering a different aspect of Oman's cultural heritage. The museum houses are more than 7,000 objects and offers 33 digital immersive experience, state-of-the-art conservation facilities, a UHD cinema and discovery areas for children. It is the first museum in the Middle East to adopt Arabic Braille script for the visually impaired. The objects are arranged so beautifully with the details both in Arabic and English. Permanent galleries, the land and the people, maritime history, arms and armor, Civilization in the making, aflaj, currency, timeline, but al kutam and al land of frankincense, prehistory and ancient history, splendors of Islam, Oman and the Renaissance, intangible heritage, other facilities, learning center, conservation facilities, a temporary exhibition gallery. Collection Gallery, Open Storage Concept, Restaurant and Patisserie, Coffee.
in the lush fields full of roses and pomegranates on Jebel Akhtar, the great mountain lies not one but three abandoned villages, al Akhtar, al Ayan, and Ashuraija. One striving communities full of farmers and with streets bustling with people. Now they are thought to be home to only one inhabitant residing among the buildings. The rest of the villagers, unsettled by the war, eventually followed the call of modern developments along the newly built main road at the bottom of the mountain with the promise of easier amenities and less hardship.